Got to beat the shop shop. Share out to the red with the double stop. Scare the fuck out to beat the shop shop. Uh huh. Got to beat the double stop. Scare the fuck out to beat the shop shop. Share out to the red with the double stop. Scare the fuck out to beat the shop shop. Uh huh.
Jesus taking some time out of his busy schedule to sit down and watch one of the greatest CSGO finals that we've seen. Hello and welcome to G4's Aftermath, the post-show game show for I Am Cologne. I'm your host, Frosk, and I have the privilege of welcoming two very special guests back to the after party. It's Launders and Daft Mike. I wanted to say Daft Mike, Darf Mike. Barf, oh no. Barf Mike over here. Barf <laughs> Mike and Laundry, we're rocking up. Darf Mike, if you don't actually know who I am, but uh, there's a few iterations on that. Barf Mike, Daft Mike. Barf Mike. Dwarf, Dwarf Mike. Mike. And we discovered the origin of your name. You just picked it because you knew then you would get Mike. Is your name even Mike? Yes. Oh, yes. What do we know about you? is that from birth. Well, the only reason I went by Mike when I was a child is because I couldn't spell Michael. <laughs> I was like three. It's okay. I, I Origin stories here. Still can't spell it. So uh, no, that's actually true. If I tried to write Michael, I would definitely mess up E A L scenario. Is it E A L? A E L. There it that's is. That's what gets everyone. Yeah. That's what gets everyone. Every time. Now, like I said, this is the post show game show. So for I Am Cologne, we have a series of discussion topics. I'll run by our guests there over there. And whoever wants to answer first, you guys can jump in and hit your little bells. That's it. You... That was first. That was one. Now you don't get to hit the bells until it's time for the bells. Okay. Don't. I can take away points because that's how this works. In a completely original twist, I will be awarding points if I like their answers. It's completely arbitrary, so I'll take away points too if I feel like I don't like their answers or if chat wants me to or if they touch their fucking bells again. Now, why should you guys care about this? Well, the person with the most points at the end is getting a silly little prize. I have no idea what the prize is, but my producer assures me it will get thrown out before you guys leave the studio today. So definitely some merch. Any questions? I like prizes. Excellent. I don't know what it is, but I want to win. Uh, I only accept money. Well, we're also paying you, Euros. so that works out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's jump into our first topic, the tournament we literally just watched. Now, FaZe triumphed over Navi. Uh, was this the expected uh, result? I feel like... 
You don't, okay, sure, go. <laughs> Bell's to answer. I, I was told there was one rule, Bell's to answer. Uh, yes and no. Uh, honestly, either team winning. This was the expected final. Like, these two teams making it through is an awesome matchup to have in FaZe and Na'Vi. But really, it could have been either team. I mean, it came down to the last map in a best of five. It came down to the last couple of rounds that really made a difference. And it, it really could have been either one. FaZe are extending a potential run and era. They won the last major. They've been winning events. They've been in that world number one spot. They got knocked down for a hot second, but they're right back into it. Whereas Na'Vi is resurgent. They're continuing where they left off from last year. They're trying to resume that. If they had won, it would be the resumption of the king. Instead, for now, FaZe defends the crown. I think this is not unexpected, but man, it could have been a coin flip at the end there. I will say this before we go to Launders. Um, Mike, I'm going to hold off awarding you points okay. so far because it was technically a non-answer. You didn't yep. tell me who should have well You padded it well. Do we have an answer? It was the ex uh, It wasn't the expected result. It was, I think Navi were probably the expected result at the end. So the answer, okay, it was close. I'm gonna go with Mike here on this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mike, Woo! You weren't wrong, but Moral you're close. Victory. Okay. Rhetorical victory. When you're up close, you contextualize the match. It was impossible, it was a coin flip at the end. You know, if Navi didn't throw away a couple of rounds in that, in that last map on Nuke, they would have won. And I think razor thin margins. It sets up the best rivalry possible between number one and number two. And I think this might be the two highest peaks that we've seen kind of side by side. Yeah in one era uh, uh, at a time where it feels like if it wasn't for Na'Vi, FaZe would have been completely dominant even for the entirety of this year, not had any downturn in between. So on HLTV, they even swapped one and two during the tournament where now FaZe will be number one again. So I'm gonna give you both 100 points and I'm gonna have a follow-up question that isn't actually, so this is just like a bonus question. And okay. let's say I'll just double your points, whoever was answer I actually like. How long do FaZe have to be dominant for? Because they've now won three trophies back to back to back, and now won Katowice and Cologne in the same year. The first team to do that before it is truly the era of FaZe. Yes, you gotta have he a connected- He bell first. Yeah, but it was yes. during the question. All right, <laughs> yeah, Because all right. I knew the answer. Yeah, okay, yeah, go okay. ahead. Where you weren't sure yet. So I think you've gotta have the, the two majors to connect it. I think when we look at uh, Liquid, they didn't even have their one, but they had a grand slam. So there is some debate about whether or not Liquid had a major where they won a series of S-tier tournaments that in totality is harder than winning a major by itself. And right now, FaZe have done the S-tier tournaments, are burgeoning on the Grand Slam as well as the major, uh, but they've had Navi so close to them, even stopped their streak of being number one for 13 weeks in a row. So that's what's raised questions about FaZe. So I think they need, you know, a kind of a second major to cement it. And I think it kind of feels the same way for Na'Vi, who won a major in, at the end of 2021, were undefeated in 2021, every single land they attended. But overall, when we look back, and while you were in it, it's a Na'Vi era. When you look back, oh, it was kind of short. It was kind of short. I, I want to jump on that. I think that it could be either the Grand Slam or the Major. I think that ideally they win both, and then it's really an era. But if you win the Grand Slam, in addition to winning one Major in the year, it's your year, right? If you look back at this year, it's going to be FaZe Clan's year. Only three teams have ever won the Intel Grand Slam. For anyone who doesn't know, you have to win uh, four events in a 10-event span, at least one of which has to be one of the Major events, being either Cologne, Katowice, or, uh, or the, the Major. And they've now won Katowice, Cologne, and a major. So they've won like the big three in the calendar year. If they win one more event, if they win Pro League, they get that Grand Slam, they get the million dollars, the gold bars, everything. And I think that it's undeniably the year of phase, even if they drop off at that last major, which I don't think they would. I think you he's can't right. double ring your bell. I just wanted to confirm that he's correct. Okay, that's true, which you also then did give the answer for Launders. Launders, I'm going to double your points. So you have 200 and you currently have the. Uh, Let's the go! Right now. <sighs> Second question Simple. Who are the standout performers? Twist. Twist is a baller. He didn't win the MVP. Simple won the MVP. But those last couple of rounds got to stick in your mind. The, the mini drops, just jumping over, doming electronic, getting two more kills on the site. He, he ended that map. That round ended the map individually. And he was also just incredible throughout the tournament. He's been incredible this year. He was incredible in that grand final. I am honestly amazed he didn't get the MVP. 50 points for uh, Mike, so I believe that takes you up to 150. Still just 50 short of Launders over here. And Launders, I am going to give you a chance to make up the extra 50 that I just gave up to Mike. Why did Simple deserve the MVP over Twist? He had a 1.25 rating across the entire event. That one is a the, number I don't understand. One of the most arduous, well, I'll put it into context, the next highest for anyone in the server 
was a 1.16 rating, so almost 0.10 rating higher. When we talk about elite level yes. players, Simple will end the entire year with around you know, a 1.30 rating over across the entire year. Most players will be around a 1.0. 1.0 is like, you've done pretty well. Like, All I'm saying is that if I'm trying to date someone and they come to me and they're like, I'm a 1.10, 1 that yeah. doesn't put them very high on my list. Right. Um, how do we explain this in non-CS terms? Is it, it like it a, like a batting average? It's the best. You know, getting a getting a 1.0 would be like getting a B plus. Okay. Getting a 1.30 would be like getting an S plus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he had a 1.25 at this event, and the next highest was a few grades down, maybe an A minus. Okay, so we have some not quite valid Victorians, but quite close there. Yeah. Statistically, he's a monster. Yes. The only question for Simple is that uh, the last map of the final wasn't great. The two lowest ratings of the tournament were in the finals. Now it's a long series, so there is that. You kind of have to give people a break. It's not always because they choked that they played badly. Sometimes you play badly. Uh, but you can't help but give him MVP when he had that kind of consistency. Okay. Then I'll award you the 50 points, so still 100 down. <sighs> Let's go. Can't Next win. question. Was there a team that didn't make the grand finals that should have? Both of you said that both Navi and FaZe were the expected teams. Who's your next best? Your answer is wrong. There is no other team that. Yeah, made no, the no one. No, well, that is my answer. My answer is no one should have made the finals. There were a couple really cool storylines that would have been awesome if they did make the finals, but they weren't actually that good. So the Movie Star Riders is a Spanish team that's been on a tear. They just won an event in in Valencia, in Spain, the first international event they've attended in Spain. They were incredible there. They had the hometown crowd cheering them on. It was the first time in their careers they'd had that. And this is a team that's been really consistently top twenty to thirty in the world for like two, three years, and so they just, well, this roster has been around for a year, and they just rocketed ahead of that, ascended beyond what this org has ever historically done, so it would have been incredible if they kept rising and met a finals level, but they're not there yet. I'd like to steal some points. Oh, I, I like this. I have a tweet about Movie Star Riders to explain why it is that they perform so well, and actually why they should be performing so well, better more often. Dramatic reading, okay. please. Yes, okay. So, this is what Movie Star Riders have at their disposal. I can't pronounce some of these words. <laughs> State of the art esports center. That's sport, in English. Sports psychologist, a data analytics team, physiotherapist specialized in seated sports, Herman Miller chairs disguised as average gaming chairs, and everything you can imagine for stress, relief, and motivation. A yoga guru Devi from India. A, there's a, there is a, a word here that, I, that is not in English, something master. From Chengjia Ju, Gu, Gu Henan, just a Spanish fifth Man generation Perero. Man Perero from Mur Murcia, Mercia, Omega yeah. from Combaro, to wish bad luck to their rivals, and they're also pretty good at CS. That was just that's conjecture, but I'm only going to allow you to steal 50 points since you couldn't pronounce some of those words. <laughs> my, my objection is also they're not his words, and he didn't credit the tweet author. It was Norse's tweet. Shout out to Norse. Shout out to Norris. Okay, denying go. stealing the tweets. Yeah, there so, we go. So, what is our, our our point score right now? I believe Launder still has a slight lead. Dab me up. <sighs> Eventually, the lower third will come up. If not, that's fine. We'll see it on the other side. Thank oh, you. Oh, no. Wow. That's a big lead. Launders has a big let's lead. Go. Actually, can we, like, just pump up Mike there? Like, I don't know. Let's give him 100. What? Let's just, you know, let's close the gap. Thank you. There okay. we go. And speaking of closing gaps, guys, we are going to take a very quick break, but when we go on to the other side, we're going to have more of our game show, including more different challenges like hot takes, so stick around. You know I practice.
Welcome back to G4's Aftermath, the post-game game show for I Am Cologne. On your screen right now, you can see it himself, our savior. Again, took time out of his busy schedule to go to the cathedral of CSGO and watch one of the greatest majors that we've seen in a long time. It's still me, Frost, and I'm still joined by my incredible guests, Launders and Mike. Do you really mean it? Uh, yeah, I will say that. There's a... <laughs> I will say that, politically. <laughs> so some people I work with, I wouldn't say incredible guests. I would just okay. say joined by. Okay. But I gave you the adjective. I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it at face value. I won't I, think about it too much. I mean it. I'm too honest for my own good. So you know that it, it's authentic coming from me. Now remember, guys, your life depends on this game show that we're playing. Oh, God. Uh, because winning this game, you're going... Oh, you win a prize to die for. The first time I read that in the prompter, it was like, we're going to kill them if they don't win? No, guys, it's a prize you're going to die for. You're going to love it. You want to win it. I mean, the so... bomb goes off after this. <laughs> exactly. I don't have a diffuse kit. Yeah. So let's get into it. This is our hot take section. So be as spicy. The spicier, the better. I like spicy food. Um, I'm going to be honest. Some of these questions that my producer prepared for me are pretty lukewarm, so I'm going to go for even spicier here. Okay. Uh, which team has all the gear but no idea? I would trend. Oh, Liquid. Yeah. No Ooh. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. You agree with me? Just give me the points. Liquid have no. multiple players who can be top 20 and have been in the past. They have a grand slam behind them. They have, first of all, a facility in Europe. They have European practice nonstop. They're barely an NA team, in my opinion. They. Uh, don't even kind of recruit from NA. They just got you Kinder. That's similar in League of Legends, also right. barely NA teams. Right. Or NA players. Just got you Kinder. But I mean, you Four know, out of five. Yeah. And a coach. None of that's going back five in Five out NA, of six. Though. Yeah. They just. They just got OC. Their passports are starting to change. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> they got you Kinder, best entry fragger in the world. Does nothing but actually create space, doesn't even take space as a star, and still managed to fall to movie star riders, not making it to the semis. They should have gotten to that point, I think, at least. It was a good result for them, but with the size of their upgrade, and their stature and their previous results, they should have done more. I'm going to keep it in region. I have a question, though. Do I have to be someone who is at this event, or can it just be a CS team in general? Oh, I want you to flame anyone in any Anyone? Yeah. Just... Well, then it's EG. Okay. EG just picked up 10 more players. They now have a 15-player roster, two academy teams functioning. And how many star? Is, it's five, yeah? Five. Five start on a CS team, yeah. Uh, they're trying to make a system where they have an academy team growing up, but they also still have their top-end team, which they spend an enormous amount of money on. Mm, uh, charity org. And they've been awful all year long. They've been awful for the last year and a half, two years, with no real glimmers of light. And this roster in particular started out bad. They spent a lot of money getting in a big former major winner in Stewie 2K. They brought him into the roster. They thought he was going to be the savior. It hasn't worked. No part of this has worked. The two pieces held over from the old haven't gotten better. Uh, no one who was really added to this roster has shown up. You had Rush as well, another major winner. Not, nothing has really gone well for this team. The only player who's actually been good on this team was Automatic, who spent a year playing Valorant and then came back and was their best player, which really tells you how rough everyone else's form has been. So they're spending mad money. They're investing. They've got all the facilities. I think there's a world where they figure it out somewhere down the line, but I think they're going through a lot of iterations first. Also, your liquid point is bad because they just made playoffs their best result in so long. They're finally getting an idea. The idea is Yakindar. Good point, but I would like to challenge that with this cool pen trick. That was cool. It was a good trick. Okay, 20 trick. points for the pen trick, 100 oh. points for uh, the better EG discussion. If you need me to do the math for you, I will. I don't really want to, but I will. Okay, uh, what map should be removed from the competitive pool? Okay, Mirage. that was fast. Mirage. Oh, Mirage cool. is so stale. I hate Mirage. I know. I understand. It's good. It's a good neutral territory for teams. Teams can do different things on it. But it's been it's in the pool for so already. long. It's so boring. I'm so tired of watching Mirage takes. I'm so tired of watching smokes on A. I've seen so many smoke takes on A. So many retakes. Oh, just one up, play ticket booth, take one shot, and then run away. And then we'll do a full five-man retake. I'm tired. Get out of the pool. Bring in something else. Anything else. Bring back cash. Everybody says they hate Mirage and then ban every other map and then play Mirage. Yeah, because it's okay, so it's neutral and boring. It has no identity. It is the most played map by far in CSGO Wonder in Mirage. matchmaking and face it. So yes. honestly, actions speak louder than words. Words, people love Mirage. Okay, so what map instead? Vertigo. I, Vertigo's new. Vertigo's fresh. It's I like Vertigo. Been out for three years and it's literally still a construction site. When are they going to finish it? That's the whole point. <laughs> they add a new floor with every major change. Vertigo is actually enjoyable to watch. I will say, Vertigo is the highest variance from a spectator perspective, where if teams don't know how to play Vertigo, it's awful CS to watch. But if teams really know how to play, it's one of the most entertaining maps. I think. Sounds like Breeze. 
No What's Valorant? that game? Yeah. Okay. What's that game? No, it's fine. Colorful. I'm going to be honest. You said so many words that I did not understand, but I liked your passion. 50 points to Mike. There we go. I just got to be demonstrative. Yeah, launders, pick it up. Okay, uh, you get a job at Valve. What is the first th <laughs> This is a joke that they're... You get a job at Valve. What's the first thing you change about CSGO? I would make Source 2. <laughs> release it, you mean? I'd release it, They're just yeah. holding it. Yeah. Gabe's just got a button in his office. He's just waiting. That's it. It's a Source 2 button Honestly, until things get bad enough. I'm going to be really honest. I once did an internship at Valve, and they were showing us around their new Bellevue offices. And so there were, like, kind of boxes everything. And they just had this giant... Um, statue that was being used as a paperweight on their desk and the guy who's showing us around like just was kind of touching things and he picks it up he goes huh i was wondering where we put this and it's like the game of the year award or like developer like uh, they had the emmy yeah like a yeah. prestigious award just like sitting here as like a weird paperweight and that's like oh this is definitely valve i'm definitely in their offices yeah that yeah. was for the the, the international i was literally just there it was just it was for the international right on the front desk some people didn't even know what it was <laughs> that tells you how old we are now yeah Okay, I forgot the question that I... Oh, what are you changing? What's source you change? 2, what are you changing? It's probably Source 2, too. Huh. Wanders is right. I'll give this you one to You have to give him points and then it's give right. me those points because it's my answer. Doubled up. Although you did that to me. You yoinked one of my answers. Okay, we're going to do so it like this. Right. I'm going to give uh, Launders 50 of Mike's points. Let's go. How Great. many points is he... Oh, of the total? Okay. Yeah, of, of your... You're taking percent? away... I think you're ahead. No, not back. percent. Not percent. Not percent. I want equity. Okay, if you guys had to change or add one element from another game into CS, what would it be? Would it be like... A it would be the jet dash. The jet dash? No. No, that's the worst mechanic. Okay, it means I'm joking. That your, your actions don't matter. Okay, I'm joking. It would be the All apex right. crouch slide. That would be kind of sick. Thank you. More points for Mike. It would be ridiculous, but it would be kind of sick. Uh, but I think the thing that I would do, which, no, I wouldn't. Destructible terrain would be kind of sick, but it wouldn't actually be good for any game. But like, if certain parts of a map, isn't you that could like what Rainbow Six is entirely in. built? Yeah. On. yeah, yeah. Rainbow Six is like blowing a hole in a wall and actually changing the way a map works. That would be kind of cool. I don't know how well it would work in existing Counter Strike maps, but if you could actually reformat the terrain so that opponents had to change their setups based on what, like, one wall you chose to just boom at the beginning of the map, that'd be pretty sick. That's how you know he's young, because they had that in CS Source. I played Source. Not well. Not well. Often. And not much. <laughs> not much, yeah. Okay. Laundra's another 100 points. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> okay. Get destroyed. This one is all you, Mike. I got you. Okay. okay. Is Cologne really the cathedral of Counter-Strike? Yes, 100%. I mean, it you saw that crowd. You saw that crowd. It's a religious experience. The Lord himself was in attendance, he apparently. Was. Uh, you saw the, the, the fans crying, laughing, cheering. It's one of the most neutral crowds in Counter-Strike as well. Uh, there are some incredible crowds in, like, Denmark, but then the Danish team doesn't make the finals, and, and they, they leave. leave. Uh, or they cheat for the Danish team in the crowd. Uh, this is one of the most neutral crowds. We never really saw them favoring anybody. The cheers were just as loud for either side. Chants are starting. Excitement is there. The German crowd went nuts for teams like Movistar, for Liquid. People travel from all over the world if you're going to make a destination of one counter-strike event it's going to be cologne it's the cathedral for a reason and it's also in a pretty dang nice city too so i i think it's got to be it, it really is the most religious experience we have in cs it is until a german team becomes good and then? that won't happen though. because then they won't be neutral anymore <laughs> the best locations for counter-strike events and probably all esports are are locations where the teams suck and so that's why even Cato right now is is really good and that's why Denmark was kind of rough because they had uh, two really good Danish teams that were in contention to make final. So a lot of spots. I mean, if Big were in playoffs, I mean, there would be a lot more cheers for Big. Big did make playoffs, though. They made the finals of Cologne one year. In the past, and it was yeah. still a good crowd. It was great. Yeah, I can't lie about that. So you that, can have that counts as your point. Yeah, you can have. What about Dallas? <laughs> Dallas is awesome. Dallas is cool, but it's not that size. The, the biggest event that we've had in NA, I feel like, is uh, we used to have the ESL One New Yorks. I don't know if those are going to come back at some point, but they were sick in the Barclays Center. But still, I mean, the Cathedral is just—it's another level. Maybe Easy. Sydney. Sydney. Yeah, yes. the Aussies Ooh, go hard. The, the Aussies, Aussies go are hard. Good They're at really that. good. They're a lot of fun. Okay. They, they stack cups the highest. They do the most chewies, and I think they're the funniest. Yeah. Yeah, like but koalas. it's it's still not. Like, the hype. The hype of Cologne is what makes it religious. Yeah. Yeah, it's also the prestige of the tournament. Okay, Mike, you get uh, 100 points right there, which, uh, if we can bring up the score, I think that actually means that Mike might have a slight lead. I lost complete track. Never mind. I don't yeah. understand. I, 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 I think I need swear another every time points. it goes down. I have a friend in production. They are adding scores to you. I swear you went 370. Either way, 
I don't make the rules. Oh, oh it's going oh. up again. Oh, oh no. Oh, stop it. Right there. Okay. Perfect. We're going to keep the score right there. We're going to check if it changes on our way back because we're going to go to another quick break and then... Apparently tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'm doing a plug for G4 is hosting a Street Fighter event that is a barbecue showdown right here in the studio. There's going to be games, ribs, tons of action. That is a 10K prize pool. You guys do not want to miss it. I saw the kiddie pool for it upstairs, so I hope that there's going to be some, uh, some nice swimsuits as well. But we are going to be right back for more Aftermath action. Yeehaw! religious experience in the cathedral of CSGA that we were just talking about there as we look over a packed crowd and stadium. It has been a long time coming for esports. It feels like the pandemic when everything shut down during that duration really kind of gutted the soul of esports and it is nice to finally start to see these communities rise back up because I feel like sports fans really understand esports when you take them to a live event. They're like, ah, it's just like my sports ball. Yeah, the emotions. I mean, it, you see a big moment happen at, at an event, and somebody who doesn't watch the game, they can understand the feeling that yeah. everyone feels, and then they can feel that because they have empathy. And it's, I think sharing that is the best part about it. As soon as you feel the roar of a crowd that's really into it, you can't help but get swept up. That's the, the whole beauty of it. And it's the first time since 2019 that fans have been in attendance in Cologne. So it's very nice. We had them, but uh, it's not the same when it's sterile and there's not that... We pretended it was the same. We did. We sold the narrative. two years. We talked about it online, how the online results matter, but now we don't have to lie anymore. Yes, they don't matter. That's actually a great hot take. Now, guys, I'll actually deliver this one. You don't have to ruin your careers over this. <laughs> guys, all of that bullshit that the online results matter, they didn't. It's a completely different game, and this is why arenas matter and playing in the arenas. So if your favorite team was only good online, guess what? Your favorite team sucks. <laughs> now, let's take a look at I the I can't believe you called out big like that. I know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna say cloud now. I hit a lot of teams there. In Dallas. So uh, let's go ahead and pull up the scores, see where we're at. Okay, it's so okay. you didn't rise up during the uh, the commercial. Now I'm keeping Anything tabs on it. Got uh, it now. Gamers, our next topic is, is, and we've talked a lot about the pros, but what about the Joes? What sets a professional esports athlete from your buddy, Craig? <laughs> Why did we choose Craig as the name? We have an Australian writer, guys, in this prompter, and sometimes he just chooses, like, the weird. Like, when was the last time you met someone named Craig? You wrote that, Liam? I just got word that our American producer wrote that line. Well, do you know anyone named Craig? We do have yes. A, yeah, we have, a few, we have a few Craigs. We actually have a few Craigs <laughs> out here. How many Craigs? It's like three, four Craigs. I think How many I know Craigs do you have? I think I know one or two Craigs. We literally have a Craigslist. He has more Craigs. There is, there's a whole list of them. There's a whole list of them. There is a list of Craigs. Okay, uh, 300 points for three Craigs for Launders, 200 points for Mike for his two Craigs. You should have had more Craigs. Should have known is there a more threshold Craigs off the network. We just win? or? No, I actually determine the winner. Don't make me... Don't, I'm sorry. Thank you. It's one okay. strike. It's one strike. This is pros versus Joes. So the first question is... What is the best way to warm up for Counter-Strike? 
It depends on the player. It really depends on the player. I want to know your best way for warming up. Oh, don't. No. You don't want to match my individual skill because it's not good. It's low. You're shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> I have a... That's, it. That's the way he warms up. He I shoots himself in the foot. I have a ma master your CSGO aim training routine on YouTube. Yep. Okay, so I actually copied it from Plug a bunch of YouTube. pros. Mm -hmm. And I, I d figured out what the What's best the method URL? is. What's the URL? Uh, YouTube.com slash launders. <laughs> I thought you were about to say YouTube.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, Type in Google YouTube.com. Okay. The number one thing that everyone gets wrong, it's always accuracy before speed. That's the number one actual real point about training your aim that everyone, they go into deathmatch and they try to hit as many fast flicks as possible. But any good, all the top aim trainers that like specialize in aim labs and programs like that, they will tell you that it's important to make sure you hit every target before you move on to hitting targets quickly. That is the best tip, I think, for warming up your aim. I like this answer. 200 points to launders. Mike, where are you at? Uh, not good at Counter-Strike. Okay. I'm good at talking about it, though. Runners eat pasta the night before a race. What are pro CSGO players eating? Energy drinks. Yeah, like machines. Bananas, actually. Uh, wildly popular uh, land food. There's a, a certain team that was top end that had a dominant several year era, won four majors, that, um, you know, all those teams that are like that, that apparently Danish. once nearly refused to play without a fresh supply of bananas. Um, so that's important. That's good fuel, consistent fuel. The trick is you don't want the sugar crash, right? So Londa says the energy drinks. Once you get to a certain level, you really got to be careful that you don't want that, you know, it's 15 to 13 and you're trying to close out the game and your body just goes, do you think that's what happened in that second to last round? Yeah, Simple needed a, an extra energy drink. They needed yeah. the banana? That, yeah, That clearly. was the thing. I mean, there couldn't have been a map six. So that was the time to start chugging the energy drinks, kids. Could have done it. Could have done it. Uh, Not but, real advice. I mean, I, I, think, I think a lot of what it is for a lot of players, if you talk to them, is about keeping consistency and a level thing. It's hard when you travel, right? It's hard to maintain that consistency when you're in hotels, when you're in strange beds, when you're eating different food. Maybe the buffet doesn't have what you like for breakfast. Maybe the catering isn't quite right. So finding that consistency, whatever it is for you, you know, some players like meditation, some players like to make jokes and keep it light. Some players bring their own food. Some players only order from McDonald's where they're at tournaments. I don't recommend that one. Uh, but there's a lot of different things that players will do and if you find that consistency you find that rhythm so that whether there's a little bit of a high or a little bit of a low whether you have a good breakfast or a good night's sleep you're still going to be able to at least maintain a certain baseline that's what you need to do in league of legends the korean and chinese teams literally travel with suitcases full of instant ramen nice because historically they get very sick when traveling and, and then obviously north american issues. players don't have to because they have enough salt yeah exactly hey. that is good 100 points Mike, you can have 300 points. That was a good answer. Thank you. Good job. Okay, uh, <laughs> I read this question. It says, should you crack? And then the back half is your knuckles. Ah, <laughs> uh, I've read about this. And uh, Ring your bells. <laughs> yes, it feels good. <laughs> okay, 100 yeah, points good. to Mike. Uh, anatomically, it just pops air bubbles. I don't think it has a big effect on you. I don't think it actually helps accelerate arthritis. <laughs> Yes, but when I'm, you talk about it, people do it. I believe uh, doctors have proven that it does not cause arthritis. Let's go! It just annoys mothers. Yeah. yeah. It feels like you crack your knuckles, and no matter where your mom is in the world, she, like, stops what she's doing, she goes, there's a disturbance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's laughs> Don't do it! Okay. Uh, optimal time... Sorry, guys. I've just... I had a core memory unlock about my mother yelling at me. <laughs> optimal bedtime, wake-up time for a pro gamer. They actually switched... The they switched this in Europe so that it became Accuracy, healthier. Accuracy, not speed. <laughs> 200 points. Yes! They actually changed this in Europe, which is why North America is falling behind right now, where in North America, they start playing like their pro pugs at like 11 p.m. I mean, it's terrible. In Europe, they all agreed to switch the time to the morning, so they all queue up during the day, so they get like a proper sleep schedule. I think it's not so important what time you sleep, but that you sleep at the same time every day. Yeah. I, I think that, uh, to build on that, like the consistency is finding it so that you, you have... Ideally, you can maintain your sleep schedule into events, which is why it's better to phase shift it earlier. I will say, though, EU gets it easy because they actually get salaried to play, whereas the vast majority of NA players have jobs or school, and so you can't start bracking or playing until those let out. And that's why most practice in North America isn't available before, like, 6 p.m. Eastern at a minimum. And that's why players have terrible, terrible sleep schedules. NA also, they're Mike. just degens. Yeah. Let's be real. Okay. They sleep till four. It's true, but it's, it's a mix. It's a tie. I'm going to give 100 points to both of you. Uh, what games should you play in your free time that you would translate to Counter-Strike skills? Escape from Tarkov. How so? Explain. 
I'm be curious here. Because I think one of the best ways to train is for the pressure in CS. So when you play for a match, you're trying to replicate that. Okay. And nothing is scarier than playing Tarkov, where it feels like every gunfight is literally life or death outside of the game. And I think that's why a lot of uh, pro CSGO players dinosaurs? play it. Is that the dinosaurs? No, Escape from Tarkov oh, is like arc. the super realistic, oh, okay. like you can you can hear like you're, you know, it sounds like when you take a step, everyone on the map can hear you outside. It's like the high fidelity graphics, like all these different things about the guns that, that I don't play, it, but a lot of CS pros love Tarkov. I think it trains the pressure in a way that other games don't, because I think the thing that's special about Counter-Strike is that it, it's, uh, it has a lot of consequence for dying. Whereas like, take a game like Overwatch, for example, where you actually respawn kind of frequently, there's less of that. I mean, CS, when you die, you kind of know you're out of the game for maybe another minute and a half, which feels terrible and has huge consequence. And I think uh, Tarkov kind of replicates that. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. I'm gonna say, A, I don't think playing other FPS games is necessarily helpful because you have mechanics that are very much applied to an FPS scenario, and if another game doesn't replicate them, it can be a problem. Now, other games that use the Source Engine, that's a little bit better, depending on how their mechanics are set up. But I'll also say, I think the most important thing is that you just find something that is a release, right? If you're playing as a pro or in a serious manner, you're putting enough time into CS. Like, you, you put enough time in. Whatever you're doing in your off time should be a way to center you to actually enjoy your time, to take some time off, to relax. Ideally, you find something that's not front of a PC as well, uh, because obviously you're going to have a lot of screen time. He was trying to pull a cool, pull a cool pen trick because he thinks my answer is better. I know. He just dropped his pen everywhere. Fumbled it. Uh, I'm going to minus 200 points no, just 200. for that fumble. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you guys, because frankly, yeah, I agree with both your answers, but they were kind of boring. What do you guys play other than CSGO to prepare for CSGO? KZ. <laughs> I, I watch a ton. That's actually just CSGO. <laughs> I play a ton of Slay the Spire while I watch things or listen to things because more, most of my preparation doesn't involve actually playing the game. And so Slay the Spire is a great secondary game while you're I can listening to over. things. I play TFT. Oh, boom, 100 points Let's back. Go. Ah, I don't do yeah. that one. He's got the hats. I love hats. Okay. Uh, what is more important, game knowledge or mechanical skills? Game knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. I think that <laughs> it's, <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll say counter argument though. The, the thing is, you, if you're going to be a pro, you have to have a baseline of mechanical skill. What if you're not if a you, pro? Well, then it's mechanical skill. If, yes. if you're playing non-pro CS, you can turn your brain off and click real good, and you can win most levels of Counter-Strike. But once you get into competitive CS, you have to already have that level of my brains off mechanical skill, where you can just click heads, and then you add the intelligence, and that's what sets top end players apart from the guy who can just rip heads. I think a good example of this is probably Twist. If you watch Twist Deathmatch, nothing will make you feel more insecure as a CS player. It's unreal what he can do in Deathmatch. And it, it translates somewhat into the pro level, but with utility and all these other distractions and interference, it's much harder for that to look as pure, like as nuts as he is. But he probably has the best mechanical skill in the whole game right now at the top level, uh, but is not the that. best player. And, and, you know, is not even maybe top 10. He'll probably be top 10 this year, but never been contention for top I'm one. fight you for that one. What? Oh, he'll be fight. top 10. Oh, he'll be top 10 this year on face for sure. 100%. Maybe he'd even be top 5, actually. I but think he could be. He's yeah. having a good year. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but top 1 doesn't seem like a conversation we could have for him. And Not yet. obviously, that can also have to do with the rifle. But it is to say that, you know, I've never had like a scream be also the best player in the world. Doesn't happen. What does Twist Twists. need to do to be the best player to overtake Simple? I'm just going to say Twist's top 1, 2023. Just calling my shot right now okay. to counter you. We'll reconvene. Um, but yeah, I mean, he needs to up. But he won't because Brokey Ops. Yeah. But he's, he is, he, I, I think he's in contention for one of the best rifles this year. I think we put it like this. If Twist gets like top four, we could say if he picked up the op, he's basically a top one, top one player. So that'll be a, a big step for him. If you guys are not understanding any of the words that they're saying, they're basically saying that Twist could be one of the best players in the world or in contention for it if he picked up the big sniper rifle. Yeah, the big zoom banger. Operator. Yeah. Big guys, green. Operator, you guys know The cheat is. stick. The ch cheats, I like that it's, one. It's the op crutch is the other one. The boom stick. Yeah. Okay, Zoom guys, banger. pull up the, the score, show us where we're at, and I'll determine who's going to get points for this if I want this race to be close. <laughs> wow. Yes, it is you're right always just 70 ahead of me. Mike, boom, you get 100 points because I liked your impassioned uh, rant there for Twist, but we are going to another commercial break. When we come back, Launders is going to do a handstand. Excuse me. I was very excited to see where that teleprompter was going. I had back problems. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
welcome back to G4's Aftermath. I definitely lied about Launders, by the way. There's uh, there's no handstand, so you're welcome. Not daddy. I'm doing it right now. Not daddy. <laughs> yeah, you can't see oh, it. I just finished. Underneath these incredible crowd shots, again, we just finished up eyeing Cologne, where FaZe took it all the way to a best of five. Five games. It came down to the, the real nail biter there. Which, right at the end. 30th round, yeah. Yeah, our next segment is supposed to be convince me, but before we do that, I do want to kind of ask the question, was that series as close as it appeared? Because there was that big, I think, recency bias. If you guys didn't see the series, at the very end, it was basically tied into score, possibilities going into overtime, and then Twist just popped off and took everything down. It was kind of dead for Navi. But there was that, that uh, period, I think, on map two, where FaZe had... So, or gave away such a huge lead to Navi, and the Navi were unable to close and came back. I think it was map three, actually, and FaZe came back and closed on it. So I'm like, was that actually a close series, or do you actually criticize Navi on their inability to close when they had massive leads earlier on in maps? You can take it. Yeah, no, that was incredibly close. Every single map, there was no moment where you really could count a team out. There were moments where you would count most teams out, but these are not most teams. These are the two best teams we have in the world, pretty much confirmed oh, at this point. So th this was such an incredible series because it did feel like at any moment a team could run it back. I mean, we literally made a $1 bet in the green room, which I won, by the way, that something was going to go to overtime that didn't. That phase did wind up closing out. I think that was that Mirage game. Um, but either way, it did feel like at any point you could have the run back. And on Nuke, it was every round seemed like it was swinging the needle either direction. So that that is genuinely the closest best of five I think I've ever seen. And I suspect we've ever had in CSGO. I'm still a dollar up from last time. You are a dollar. He is a dollar up from last time. Also, uh, Ancients was the, the map of the comeback, mm -hmm. and they, they ended up closing out anyways in overtime. So they dropped the huge lead, but they made it happen when it mattered. And... Uh, and again, like when we talk about map balance, it's hard when we talk about teams at this level because there's so many mind games. It's even intimidating to try to analyze because, you know, so much of this comes down to like what they saw last time. It's gotten to the point where you're pressing tab to counter a person in a 1v1 because you know how they like to play 1v1s. So the level of meta has just gotten so deep. Okay. So this uh, section is called Convince Me. Any points, by the way? No, no okay. points for that. That was actually just an honest question. You didn't even have to ring your bells, but I appreciated that you did it. And I love how Launders, well he just touches his bell so gently. You just like barely tap the top of it, whereas like Mike is slamming down. Yeah. He, he clicks it like a mouse. I smash it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let's, uh, let's up the ante here, because let's pull up the score. I believe it's still fairly close. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, finally, Mike got ahead. I was going to say, I don't understand how Launders is still in the lead. Was Mike is now in the lead by 30 points. Right. Okay, you guys have that dollar still? Would yep. you like to make another dollar bet? Yeah. Okay, winner of this dollar is who convinces me of this next question. Can I have the dollar? The secret is, Launders has never had any dollars. It's always my dollar. We just use it as a prop. It smells that. very strange. <laughs> okay. That's what my back pocket smells That's America, like, baby. That's America. <laughs> this has right definitely there. been in a stripper's yeah. G-string. Like, that is... Which team should I care about and why? You both get a, you, you both get a oh, turn, okay. but go you first. can go first. No, you go first. You rank first. You rank first. Step to the plate. I was intimidated, but I can't even. Uh, G2. Why? Why? Because they spend so much money that if this fails, you know, everything's going to go south. <laughs> but here's, here's, I, I will first say why you shouldn't care about that team, and then I'll tell you why you should care about a different team. First, you shouldn't care about G2 because they spend so much money that their team is soulless. They don't build anything. They just try and swap out parts, pretending that they're building something new with no sense of direction. They're completely led by the promise of what Nico could be, and meanwhile, they just careen from a decision to decision, changing out the leadership constantly because they don't actually know what makes for a good CS leadership. I've never heard someone be so loud and wrong at the same time. Okay, okay. hit me with it. G2 made really directed moves. They got uh, Xtaz as the coach sure. to swap in. That and was a really out, smart apparently. change. But was the change not a good idea? Yes, you're right, it was. Thank you for but agreeing it didn't with work. me. Monacy coming onto the team for 600k. Was that a waste of money? No, that was the one correct decision. Besides Xtaz, which you just agreed to. Yeah, all right, he's all right. And well, no, but I don't think, I don't think Malik was the problem previously. Do you think Malik was inherently the problem? They didn't win any finals, so. Yeah, but they haven't since. So it's just the same. And they've cut Excutaz, so but, it didn't make a difference. But wait, it doesn't mean wait, that it was a bad idea. Why do I care? You guys say all these words, and I understand half Splash of them. Splash big money, shoot big things, make good memes when they inevitably lose. Very fun to watch. They bring their top three team in terms of viewership for the game. They make the game more exciting to watch. 
If you play on G2, you'll be super famous, you'll be in every circuit, you'll get to play with some of the best players of all time. Even if it fails, I mean, everybody wants to watch Golden State play, everybody wants to watch Nico have a chance. You want to see talents like Monacy get an opportunity. No one else would have paid 600 grand to Navi to pull that player when he was 16 and take a chance on that talent, and it ended up being a really good idea. It's made the game more fun to watch for everyone, as well as for yourself, right? Mike, your turn. Uh, so the team you should care about is Entz. Entz is a really interesting story. They're kind of like the opposite end of the spectrum from a G2 in that they had an existing roster that was full Finnish, whereas G2 had a full roster that was French, and they blew it up. But instead of just splashing mad cash, they went to the bargain bin. They picked up a bunch of players who hadn't necessarily had the chance to shine in their previous teams or had shown promise but weren't in the circumstances where they could really bloom. You had Snappy, who's been around the game for a long time, IGLing various rosters, playing in different teams. He comes in, he's the leader, he's building this team around himself. I have a question. Yes? Okay, did they do this because they didn't have any money because they made terrible decisions, or did they do this because they truly believed that there were diamonds in the rough that they had discovered? They did go with the poor boy strat. A right. mix of both. A yeah. mix of both. But why Why go with the rich kid? You want to see the down-on-their-luck team build it back up and construct a roster. And now they've, they're the hope of the Polish scene as well, who have been down and out in top NCS for a long time. They've got Diha, who's a top end pro. They've got Hades, who's snappy on that AWP. And they've got Spinks, an Israeli player, a team, a region that has never really had top end representation, who's come over to Europe to prove himself and who's turned into one of the best players of this past year. He is incredible and he's come from nowhere. So you have the exciting storylines you have the growth from that team you have what they can be and that's exciting I don't want to see a guy who's spending more than anybody else and still not winning because then they have everything they should possibly have and they can't make it happen I want to see the team that's putting it together that's duct taping it that's figuring it out that's giving pros who may not get another chance the chance that they need to shine and who's then growing and blooming and blossoming and going deeper and stronger into tournaments than anyone ever expects them to Let's not pretend that if Enz got to the size of a G2, the Super Orcs, Cloud9, all this stuff, they wouldn't be shelling out the money because they would. They would 100%. But for now, they have to do it on a budget. So the question is, do you like the rich kid? Would you like the kid, the down-home boy, down on their luck, making it work anyway? I'll take the underdog story. It is your dollar back. It smells very strange. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you 100 points. It smells like a dollar. Mm, okay. There's a cold, hard cash right there. Uh... What is a tactical shooter? Are you going to be ready on your bell? And why should I give a damn? Uh, a tactical shooter is a... a the, the thing that's beautiful about tactical shooters as opposed to, like, other games where your death doesn't matter. Arena shooters. We're talking shooters. about Overwatch, that, things like that over again, is every action has consequences. Everything has a direct impact and consequence in a tactical FPS. In CS, if you make an information play, if you need to know what your opponent is doing, it carries the risk of death at any possible moment. Every move you make, every mouse you move, where you put your crosshair as you round a corner, that's a calculation, that's a gamble, that's a risk. So every decision matters. That makes it almost more like a chess game than anything else, where yes, your mechanics matter. Yes, you need to click good, but it's not a controller game. You don't have aim assist here. No machine is doing it for you. You have to do everything both with your hands and with your brain up here. And that's what makes it attack FPS as opposed to something else. Objection. He said my point just better than I did. But I said it first. Every move you make. Sorry, as soon as you said that, that's the only thing that I could hear right now. Um, okay, I'm going to give Mike. Mike's really slammed you on this section here. I, you have okay, to keep it up. Some have earned all our points. Uh, 100 points here. Let's go ahead and bring up the, uh, the scoreboard. Thank you, production. Okay, Launders, you are really struggling right now. Okay. No points at the break. Most important moment from CSGO history that a total noob needs to know. Like, again, you guys, great information. You're very eloquent. But, like, I'm an idiot, so just dumb it down. As in explaining the game or, like, best moment in pro CS? Best moment in pro CS. Cold Zero's jumping off 4K. What does that mean? What? Cool. So, uh, the... What did Sub-Zero do? Because of Zero. <laughs> Get over here! So, Coldera was a player... He, Wait, Cold, that's Scorpion. Coldera was a player out of Brazil, and in 2016, played at his first major. He got MVP okay. of that major. He won Brazil's first major in CSGO on the team that Fall informed. And there are pictures of him with players from that team that he helped carry to their win while he was just a fan in Brazil. So that story was incredible. There was a moment where Liquid were up 15 to 11 on Mirage. Coldera got a jumping off 4K from Van... And it was the most unbelievable moment to watch in real life. It was one where I was there. What kind is of a cheering. jumping off 4K? Jumping off. 
op 4K. Oh, so he imagine jumped in midair. In the air. It was no like, scopes he was with like the here, op. and then the liquid guys were running this way, and then he jumped with the op, and and he jumped three times, and he got four kills, like that. Wait, so, so just so we're clear, here's Team Liquid with a like da 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 da, yes. and this guy's playing playing Frogger with a sniper rifle, yeah. and he just beans them three times in a row. And he got a graffiti by the van for it. <laughs> Why didn't they dodge <laughs> or duck? Yeah, dodge. Uh, they had to run. They had to run. They threw all their nades. They had to execute. No one's ever reacted no, like no that one, before. The, the thing is, no one should be able to do that. Yeah. It shouldn't have happened. He should have died. He should have maybe gotten one in that play, and that's what makes it incredible. So that is an incredible moment. I'll give it to you. But I'm going to take a more holistic view. That's an individual round, whereas I think if you're a noob, you can't appreciate the majesty of the individual round because you're asking questions like Frosk of why, why is that a thing that people can't do? Um, I think it's the moment, right? And that moment... I'm going to pander to, to the NA audience here okay. that I'm hoping we've got. And to you, if you were a CS noob as an NA fan, it's the Boston Major run for Cloud9. But underdog, team that was nearly dead, that did die in the months afterwards, North America's one hope, challenged FaZe, the FaZe that we watch now. Two of those members still there. Uh, and they made an absolute Cinderella run, crazy run back from being 0-2 down in the group stage. They did the reverse sweep in the group stage, went 3-2, and made it to the playoffs, kept winning, and then in the grand finals. They made it happen on Inferno. They had one of the most incredible moments from just a storyline perspective, ran it back, and took the dub. And that was North America's only major until Twist won it as part of phase. But, you know, only major of a whole NA team. But to be really honest, when we say North America, we don't really mean Canada. No, we do for that team. Actually, yeah. that team was all U.S. The thing is that the that best team was all U.S. The best... Uh, no, I mean with that twist win. Isn't he Canadian? He's Canadian, yeah. 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 Boston Major was, was a full USA. Right. Yeah. No Canadians. No Canadians? He's, he's doing the math right now. Stewie? American. Yeah, Skadoodle? Skadoodle American. Automatic? Automatic? Yeah. American. Rush? American. Yeah. Who am I forgetting? Valence. Coach? American. Who else are we forgetting? Yeah. That's why this major sucked. Okay, because... Tarek! Tarek! We had Tarek! Liquid. The poster boy! The major MVP! He's a Valorant player. Uh, we have... He's a after streamer that, now. Liquid won. Okay, Twist is the only other player besides Stewie right now with a Grand Slam and a major from North America. And he's about to win another Grand Slam. And there's another Canadian player with a Grand Slam. That's Nafly. Canadians are way better. Uh, no, Canadians I, are I, clearly way better. I go full NA. NA is, is one unit. I'm ready to adopt all the Brazilians that live here and call them NA teams. Don't get me wrong on that. But that still says Cloud9's Boston Major run is the best moment to show a CSGO noob to show them why they should care. You about can't force CS. me to assimilate. Guys, is Brazil part of North America? No. They are when they live here and play here. And okay. that's the thing. I was just about to Google. Uh, I'm pretty sure that... NA is SA, SA is NA. That is South America. We are America. all one. It's, it's all us against the world. And uh, by yes. the world, I mean the Europeans. All of the Americas versus Europe. Um, I'm going to say Launders. I'm going to give you 200 points for that because I liked your little hop. Very impassioned 50 points. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. This is uh, the last question of the section. Oh, I needed those. It is a good one. Describe the community. Toxic. Accurate. <laughs> in, in NA, dead. Uh, <laughs> globally toxic and NA pretty dead. We're coming back though. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. There was this massive forest fire. It starts with a V and ends with a T. You might have heard of it. It's this other game. Burned out a lot of the North American scene. But you know, sometimes you need to clear the growth. Sometimes you need to have the seedling come back up from the forest floor. And right now we're seedlings. Uh, but yes. yeah, globally toxic. Okay. And, and ungrateful. And ungrateful. 50 points for both of you. But guys, Nobody has done a better job convincing me in the history of convincing. I had to say that because the prompter told me to say that, but I don't really believe it, but kudos <laughs> to you guys anyway. Now, before we go to a quick break, be sure to check out LCS Game Day, G4's weekly LCS show hosted by, oh, it's hosted by me. You can find that on G4 Linear Channels as well as Pluto TV. I smashed it in, uh, what's that one called, Cornhole? Okay. That game sounds very strangely sexual. How can you With not? With a bean bag. In yeah. There. yeah. It's apparently named because the bags are full of corn, corn kernels. So you throw the corn in the hole. Into the hole. Still sounds weird. Okay. When we come back, maybe it's just me. We're going to see if the CSGO skin market has also crashed and the cost is correct.
Welcome back to G4's Aftermath, the post-show game show for I Am Cologne, which you are looking at on your screen right now. Now, after four rounds of discussion and debate, Darth Mike is ahead of Launders in a, a little bit. grueling series that is almost as intense as the one that we just watched. But we are going into the final round. The cost is correct, which is very similar to a game show that we all know and love, and the rules are simple. You know which G4 original program we're stealing this from, who in turn is also stealing it from a nationally syndicated program who is in turn stealing it from something ancient, probably Greece, anyway. Guess the price of the CSGO skin without going over. I'll still give points. Actually, I want to spice in this up. Okay, okay. Spice? Yeah, if you get it wrong, I'm going to subtract however many points it actually costs. Oh, wait, but can it be wrong no. and it's just closest? Yeah, well, and whoever wins. Oh, whoever wins, okay. Yeah. We're going to go How negative, like, fun? immediate. Oh, that's, here so, we go. that's a lot of math that's for production. That's a lot of points. Don't uh, worry, production, I'll help you out here. I'm scared. Okay, disclaimer, <laughs> prices were sourced from Steam Marketplace sales on 713. So they are definitely not accurate anymore. We are not helping you with your financial advice. Please go invest in crypto. I don't know. Don't. No, skins are a better investment. <laughs> Guys, are you ready? Yes. And they're not a good investment, but they're a better investment. <laughs> CSGO skin. Fast money with dark money. <laughs> <laughs> Holding better price. Okay, the so first one is a str stat track scar 20 grotto, and it is well worn. That cannot be real words. Stat track scar 20 grotto well worn. This is apparently a gun. Is that a rifle, guys? It's got a scope on it. Automatic yeah. sniper. An automatic sniper? Yeah, it's Auto more snipe. expensive than a sniper. You don't oh, see it that I often. It too soon. Just because it's so expensive. Is it a good gun? No. It uh, is. Yes. Very good. It's just very expensive. Okay. Not economically smart. Not a good investment? <laughs> not a good investment. Okay. okay. In fast money, I would not recommend investing in that. Go. I went with $4. What'd you go? 10 cents. You're trying to, you it's think I'm well going to go worn. too high. It's well worn. It's, a, it's, a, it's autos. No one spends money on those skins. Was it Battle Scarred or was it well worn? How many no, chances? Well -worn. It, is, it is well worn. Oh. I'm still going with 10 cents. How many chances do we get? Only one. Right. One. You get one chance. Which never I seen will this? give you a moment. Do you want to change your no, answer? No, please don't give him that moment. Don't give him that moment. It was $4.36. <laughs> well, they switched back. Down. Game is a lie. 36. I'll go 36. I'll see if you still win. Okay. This is this is some tomfoolery. <laughs> Shenanigans. It's about to get so much worse for you, Mike. The correct price was 39 cents. I'm, wait, what? Wait, 30. Oh, <laughs> it's rigged! Dab, it's rigged! Dab me up. So, no, come on. No, would, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. You put a four in front of it. I would like to remove a single dollar, a single point from Mike's score for that one. Get in the, get in the chat. Get in the comments. It's rigged. It's all rigged. Yeah. It's big CSGO skins I had the right for answer me. in I there. felt bad that you just didn't get all the information. I was just trying to make sure he had all the information to make the best edge of the show, show How come you can't be as accommodating? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> next next one. Put it up on the screen. Care oh, I need a different oh, God. guys. I feel like I have to speak a different language to read oh, this. I can do it. Care so bit, many. gamma doppler. Care why can't they just call it a shiny knife? It's a yo-yo knife. It's one of the ones that they spin. A yo -yo knife. <laughs> uh okay. It's so much money. Now I'll give you guys some tips. You already know this, but I'm gonna give chat some tips. Knives are typically worth more money because you see them a lot more when you're in CSGO, the knife makes you run faster, as well as the fact that this one is factory new. So I have a feeling... I think I'm going to be wrong. ...that this one's going to be worth <laughs> a lot more than 39 cents. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm going with seven grand. Oh! What? 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 <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will do seven and one. That's I'm so doing funny seven because I thought it was one. Wait, wait, wait. Got both a race. Turn around so you can't see. Yeah. And then pick a different number. Okay. Now, no, turn around so you can't see, because now it's a mental game. Now he could go 7,001, you could go 6,099, but neither of you will know. All right. I'm waiting. Okay, this is the mental game. Do you feel like you picked the right? Okay. No. I went. No, I don't feel like I picked the right number at all. Okay, go. 7,500. Yeah, that's a smart move. Yeah, I thought it might be I higher. Think I think it's I think like it nine grand. I'm gonna go like nine. I think it's I think it's higher. <laughs> it's, higher? it's so much. These are worth so much money. They they boggle my mind. They, it's just it, it, mind blowing. <laughs> Can we get the points up on the screen? All right, let's see how this goes. I'm there scared. are points on the screen. Come on. I'm scared. Uh, I believe you guys only have like a thousand seven hundred. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go real it? negative if okay. you're holding to what you said. Historically, is that a lot? Uh, no, because this thing is only worth one thousand one hundred and fifty, which no, means that's that, really? that which means that Mike. That's is, right. is it like emerald gamma doppler? Yeah. No, it's not. 
Wait, no, no, it's just, wait, is it just, just Gamma Doppler? It's a Gamma, I don't know. Oh, shoot, maybe it's we both new. thought, we both thought it was like a Gamma, uh, Emerald. Yeah, I still not. think it, wow, really, okay. only, only yeah. 1,100. I'm right. gonna help you guys get the scoreboard up here, because we're we gonna now minus 7,000. Oh, wait, wait a second, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're more wrong. Yeah. <laughs> From uh, from Mr. Launders here. Uh, I'm taking it. Okay. He's more wrong. Don't worry, I've got my calculator. I can figure this out. We're actually not the best guys for the job, you couldn't tell. <laughs> we'll get has got money for skins. So man. what, that was 1,320 minus 7,500. He's at negative 6,180. I'm pretty sure you owe us money. You're not actually being paid for this event anymore. Mike doesn't lose anything? No, you were more wrong. Let's go on to the next question. <laughs> I'm being He's gonna told, get it back. He's gonna get it back. Daily double. Yeah, uh, we're having a hard times with the negatives, so for uh, sympathy, we're just gonna put you at zero. No, wait, no, 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 they figured it out. They got it. Never mind. They cracked the code. <laughs> they the decided The brightest SU. minds in production have cracked the code. There's a big number in there somewhere. Okay, you can get this back, I believe. All right. Okay. The next one is the Stat Track Desert Eagle it is print stream with minimal oh, wear. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice looking gun. That is a pretty gun. I would I would take that gun out to dinner. Maybe like an Applebee's, but they have a nice little appetizer menu. Your face tells me no. Are you My ready, face Mike? Tells me I'm wrong, but we're gonna find out. I've, I'm I'm committed. I'm committed. Okay. I'm locked in. Flip them. Two hundred. Really. I went 500. No, no shot. You think because it's not I a, actually, you know, a print stream? If I'm wrong about this, I deserve nothing because I own one, but I bought it a long time ago. So let's pull it up. Isn't the print stream D new? It is. Not that I mean. One hundred and thirty-three dollars oh, and oh, ninety-nine no. cents, which means we have to minus five hundred from went down. Mike. Rip. And we're in a plus. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you six thousand. Let's go, baby. You oh, gonna what? give him six thousand? He's negative six thousand right now. Yeah, I know, but he earned it. Heart and soul. I'm still in this. All right, all right. They're calculating on being told. Why? I'm gonna give. La I'm talking to production. <laughs> your production right now, Twitch chat. Give Wanderers <laughs> six thousand. So it's just like minus eighty right now. In fact, let's just zero him out. I love pity. Yeah, this is the this is mercy. <laughs> And we're going to take, take away 500 from Mike. That's fair. That's 500. Right. Yeah, I don't need it. No. I deserve it. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. Okay, perfect. This one is a sticker. You have to buy stickers? The stickers yes. are the most, get to the most expensive. The really nice well, ones, yeah. This one is a dragon lore sticker, and it's foil. What in the hell? That looks yeah, like a Chinese these. New Year these type of event. These are the classic ones. Oh, I don't know. Can I ask a question? Uh, I mean, you can. <laughs> when did it come out? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this this almost looks like, is it one of the Perfect World stickers? Because there are some stickers that you can't get except on the Perfect World client, which is China's version of CSGO. I'm locked in. It's being sold to it October 18th, 2019. The voice of God has spoken. Okay. Does that change your answer at all? Nope. nope. It's for the Chinese market. It's because yep. I don't know anything. Okay. It's the Chinese market. It is, it is Chinese well, market? Well, I think it is the, I think it is the, it's, yeah, it's yeah. the perfect world expansion. Okay, flip them. Five dollars. Fifty bucks? You're not. 50. They like, no way. They like Ain't no way. Dragons. Ain't no way, Mike. I'm Ain't probably no not. Way, Mike. You know what? I have no concept. sticker? Ain't That's an NFT. Some of the, that some of the is an original Cato, NFT. Cattle 2014 stickers sell for like 70 grand right now. That was five years before. Pull it up. Oh. <laughs> I don't know skin prices or sticker prices. Did you just say Richard? Can we pull up the scoreboard? I'm just gonna mess with this. Oh. I can't believe you guessed 50 for a virtual sticker. Yeah, I, look, I don't understand it, but people spend money on virtual stickers. Yeah. Like a lot of money. Apparently. An ungodly amount of money. Whoa! I'm we by killed a lot. you fast. <laughs> hey, How did I lose um, 500 on that one? Well. <laughs> I guess 50. The skin was worth 13 dollars. The last one you got wrong too. Yeah, but I, I lost you, 500 from 1,000 on you, that one. You now you're negative 500 right. now. I don't understand. All right, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll come back. I this got is your comeback one. right now. Okay. Next one. I'm, I'm climbing here. I'm Seven. climbing. What we've learned is that production is not great at math. Guys. But I would like to keep this scoreboard up as long now as possible. Now he's making production mad, up. so who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> production keep I counting I sympathize. Down. There's a saying. It's don't never do math live, and I ascribe to that as a life philosophy. Okay, you can get it back on this one, though. Okay. Sports gloves. This is oh Pandora's God, box. Gloves. I'm bad at gloves. Battle scarred. 
Gloves seems like they're probably pretty expensive. You they see are. them all the time on your character. Those are nice and purple. They're battle scarred though. They're not factory new. That decreases the price. I'm locked in. Look at those sleek fingers. That is some nice grippage action. As a professional lesbian, I am able to <laughs> certify gloves. That is a high certification. You get paid for it? Yes. <laughs> I actually have to test them. I won't go into that. <laughs> that definitely won't make a linear cut. Okay. What do you guys got? 1800. Really? What in the hell? 200? Yeah, I mean, if it's it's, crazy. it's the lowest without going over, they're because battle scarred. Those ones, like the purple ones and yeah. the pink and blue ones, are like the most expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. But I don't but know. I could be I have over. No frame of I reference. over. Oh, shoot. You're over. No. Oh, I win. Price is right rules rock. Oh. I mean, what is that? Oh. Plus 200. You're uh, only uh, now negative 300. I wrote it in CAD. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm Canadian. Here we go. We got two more. Two more. There's time to come back. Pull up the next one, guys. Famous. Famas, fa how do you say it? It's a French. Famas. It's French. Famas. 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 Or famai if they're plural. It is a commem. Com com this is words in English and I can't say it. Commemoration. Yes, it was commemorating the CS20 year. It's an all right skin, but who spends money on a famas skin? It is. Yeah. I would spend new. just about blank on this famas. Yeah, you would. Yes. About uh, that number. This one's gonna be, I think this one's gonna be close. As in, you're gonna get close, or? I don't know. I figured mine out. Okay, I'm ready. And gotta flip them. Ooh, okay, yeah. I've 20. Ooh, showdown. It's showdown. factory new, so I showdown. bumped it up it's a little close. bit. It's close. I mean. $20, and reminder guys, if you go over, you get it wrong. Let's show the price. <laughs> oh! Oh! God damn. oh! Oh, that was so... I could, Canadian dollars. Ah, ah. <laughs> I think the Canadian dollars are doing pretty well right now. Yeah, it's still like $18. Okay, can we pull up the scoreboard as we go into the final one just to see how close we are? <laughs> I don't think that's... I'm just... I'm slowly gaining. I'm slowly gaining. This makes I'm gonna sense. get there. Okay. I'm gonna get there. I've decided that whatever our magical, mystical prize is, it's going all on this one. This is it. Right. This is all the right. double or die. nothing. Whoever wins this... Wins everything. It's actually right. just one dollar. <laughs> okay. It's your dollar. It's Throw my up dollar. our last item. I'm ready. It is the Stat oh, Track Jesus. AK 47 Jesus. Fire Serpent, and it's field tested. Jesus. Help no, me. he was in the cloud in Cologne. He's not here right now. Okay. He can't help you. How far Come down is field tested? Like, I see that there's, like, uh, well-worn, factory new. So it goes factory new, uh, minimal wear, field tested, and then well-worn well and battle scarred. Battle okay, so it's right in the middle. Yes, yeah. right in the middle, which makes it harder. Yeah. That <clears throat> has some... Uh, can we go full screen on this bad boy? I think I'm wrong, but I'm going to pick a number. That is... Prime green color. It's also got a nice balance of this is, orange. This is on famously the, uh, uh, Shroud's AK. That oh, okay. So then it's very expensive. It, it popped up a bit. Does it also play he's for been, Sentinels? He's been gone a long time now. He has. He came back. His, he, he did his come soul back lives in on. Our, in the his wrong soul game. Lives on. <laughs> I uh, I went a little lower just in case. Okay, wait. Don't roll because we have a drum roll. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Per I have no clue. I genuinely have no okay, clue. If I'm, I'm being told that I can't give you guys the drum roll now. It's supposed to be for the answer. So you guys can uh, go ahead and flip, and then we'll do the drum roll. Okay. Well, there okay. Wait. Did you just put a thousand dollars? Dude, the. And did you just you put? Think it's that expensive? Fifty-five. Am I crazy? Or Am I are you? deeply wrong? I put a thousand CAD just in case. Field tested. Like a thousand CAD. It's like eight hundred. Okay. Drum roll. I'm probably wrong. I, I generally don't get these right. And the winner oh, is... No! Oh, oh. Really? That much field testing? Yeah. The legendary... The factory new ones are like four grand or something. Yeah, Launders, nice. congratulations. You. you are the winner of the post show game show and this amazing little prize. What is the prize? Oh, it's cute. The oh my God. <gasps> it's a horse. It's a... Well, c Mom? calm down, Elon Musk. It's a pinata, <laughs> and it's filled with little green army men. Can I punch it? Yeah. Oh. I didn't actually get confirmation if we could. Oh, do you guys want to hit it with a katana? Yes. Yes. Why do you have the sword on hand? Okay, wait. Don't let him hold it and hit it. <laughs> I'm kind of... 
Guys, how accurate are you? Guys, this feels like lawn darts. No, no, that's just it's it's a it's a large. You think we were actually gonna give you a blade? Okay, don't hit the TV. Oh, that is a good question. Swing away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a TV. Okay, how about we just can we just put it in the? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just. Yeah, just hit me. Just hit it. Don't hit me. Okay. <laughs> oh I'm sorry, Mike. No, 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 it's good. I was no. holding it light because I was very worried about what was about to happen. All right, my turn. Can I go down? You, you want to do one more down? All right, you've broken okay. its spine. It's yeah. really maimed there you go. at this point. All right. Uh, we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Something came out of this it. This is tough. Wow, you right, guys. This is a sturdy. You want to you take a whack? Yeah, sure. This is Here. a sturdy horse. Set it down. It's well built. Well, it's mostly that I'm afraid of maiming you permanently. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. What did that poor llama do to you? Oh, its flesh is everywhere. Wait, there's the carnage. army men inside. The carnage. Yeah, I told you that there were army men inside. Okay. Pew pew. Where's the camera? It's just like Counter Strike. It's a pinata full of little. Army Isn't man. that just a metaphor for our game in general? Yes. It is! Isn't life just a pinata full of tiny green plastic men? Guys, come here so we can have our, yes, group up semicircle. Now we're gonna look directly at either that one or that one you pick. This one. Well, that's it for G4's Aftermath for I Am Cologne. Congratulations again to FaZe for emerging victorious, unlike this guy right here. Here at the Post Show Game Show. We will be right back with more Aftermath in the future, but be sure to tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time for the Street Fighter V Barbecue Showdown and LCS Game Day every Tuesday. Guys, you gotta use a comma. Every Thursday on our G4 Linear channels and Pluto TV. Wanders and Mike, anything you guys wanna plug? Bom dia. Bom dia. Bom dia. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again very soon on G4 TV.